Hello everyone, this is Donna's Whimsical Treasures. Today I want to share with you something that I altered and I wanted to show you what it is and how to do it. So I saw this and Walmart carries it. It's a Campbell Soup Bowl Cozy, it's called. And it says carry your hot soup from microwave to table. And it, it has four pieces that go up and supposedly you put your soup in but I saw it and I thought right away this could work for something else and so this is my take on this and if you've noticed some other videos of friends that have received happy Christmas mail you'll see them also already done and how the, I utilize them so let's move this to the side I just wanted to show you the wrapper first now I already began this but I didn't finish it so that I could show you and this is how it comes without the trim of course it's not sturdy on the bottom at all so I know for crafting we need a sturdy floor so that we can use it for different things so all I did was on the bottom I put a piece of cardboard and I traced the corners of it afterwards I papered it with pretty paper and this is like a uh, dark green with little dots like if it was snow. So the idea is just to give it uh, a firm floor so that it's not moving around and you can actually put things in there and have them firmly put. Look at the difference how it, it takes a form. Before it was all wobbly and now it has a form because it has that floor in it. So what I did was I chose a small lace. You can choose whichever one you like. By the way, these are very inexpensive. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember. I bought a few of them while I was doing shopping, so I don't remember really the price, but it was inexpensive, and and it's it's workable. It's, it's good to make things with it. I used this lace, and I started it off, and then I thought, let me share this project with everyone so that if they like it they can make one also or make how many ever you want I use this for Christmas as a basket so that I could put the happy mail inside of it and I think it looked really nice it comes with a label here I've already cut it off and it'll be covered up with a lace trim so it won't show that little red piece in it and actually it says like Campbell's soup or something like that that's what it had so let's keep working on it. All I did was run the trim right along the sewn, see the sewn stitches? I just run the glue right along the stitch and pinch it down with this. Letting it overlap to have that pretty finished look. It looks like little bees. And the whole thing is not too much glue and just run along the edge. A little bit of glue and just run it along the edge. It is very hot, and if you're not used to the hot glue, protect your hands with something. You can use one of these too, and I got this in um, Hobby Lobby, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I think it was Michael's, but Hobby Lobby must have them too. And I got this where the Mod Podge things are. So you just pinch it down like that, and if you don't have one of those, let me see. A little spatula will do. Over uh, flu, it had taken me out of commission for about two weeks to wear pretty much for Christmas. I was feeling the effects of it, but I was still able to make my family dinner and thank God for that, right? And we still had a nice time. I was determined not to let it mess up my holiday and it didn't. But it wears, you know, it's wear and tear on you. <clears throat> so you see how pretty it's coming out. And then the, the little webs, you just take them out afterwards. I want to welcome all my new subscribers. And my old ones too. Thank you for always being there. And here we're, I'm only 
a little bit left to get to the edge. And I finish it off right there. And you see it's pretty easy to, to place your lace. I'm not sure. I think a, a thinner, smaller lace just makes it a little easier for the placement because the edging, it has so many turns on it. And besides crafting, I know we, we, we're crafters and that's what we think about. But besides crafting, I saw it and right away it popped into my head. How pretty would this be to put the bread in? For the holidays, you know, the warm bread, the buns. Now I'm going to proceed to put some of this chain in one of the sides just to dress up the front. And what I do is I usually look at it and it's like the piece talks to you and it tells you. And in this case, I am considering this piece to be the front. And each one is a little different. So you'll look at yours and, and you'll decide which side fits what you want to do. I'm thinking this is perfect. So the same thing we did with the trim, we're going to do with the rhinestone trim. So here we go. I'm going right up to the corner. And right there, I'm going to put it all the way around until I get to the other seam, which is here. So I'll take it from seam to seam. So it has a symmetric look to it and it looks nice and here we go and if you don't have rhinestone don't don't feel like oh I can't do this project you can you could do this with pearls how pretty pearls would look also it's just I wanted to give it that festive look because it was for the holidays and and these were gifted out this is the last one I have that I haven't gifted but it's going to be gifted out also so I just wanted to give it a, a fancier look. And right before I get to the turn, I stop so that it makes it a little easier for me to work on it. And then I, I pick up the chain. You see that little piece right there? I'll just fold that in with a little bit of hot glue also and take it up this way to finish it off. And anything that gets missed, you can always go back and just do it afterwards. Just making sure that the chain is on that actual center of the trim. And it gives it that pretty look to it. Look at it. Isn't that pretty? How that dressed it up. I think it looks pretty. And I just give it a second. Then I'm going to take a wire cutter. And right there, I will trim my piece. Which will all be right about here. So I did, like I told you, from corner to corner. And that last piece, when you cut it, usually lifts up. So just go back and throw a little bit of glue right there. There you go. And what I did was for packing purposes, I wanted to send the baskets already. Wrap the pretty paper that you can get to wrap up baskets. I wanted to send it like that, but for shipping purposes, if you want to send it in an envelope, what I did was I just pressed it all down. This could be closed up complete and stuck. I don't want to do this side right now because it's still wet push down also and it turns almost flat for shipping purposes and then the person when they receive it you could write a little note or they can look at it and just know that must have all wanted to go in there and that's pretty much what has happened with those that received one from me they they knew that the basket was to put everything that I was sending inside of it at least what could fit inside of it but the basket has a nice size to it in it and it lends to look really pretty. All right, now I'm gonna look for a trim. I'm just looking to see which trim I have. I should have got that ready, but I didn't. 
Let me see if this one will be enough. Yeah, I think I have enough here. So we're going to use this one. Is it a little wrinkly? It is a little wrinkly. Sometimes when they send them to you, they get wrinkled in transportation. But let me see if I could work with it. If this side is too wrinkly, I might use the other side. Let me see. I think it's just a matter of a little bit of glue to pinch it down. All right. So I don't like to start. What I'm going to do now is the sides with a trim. I don't like to start in the front. So I might start over here instead. And what I try to do is go as hurry up as I can without making it overlap on the top. So uh, it's wrinkled. That's why this is happening. But once I tuck it with the glue, it'll be fine. So I'm just measuring. See if I go here, it'll be perfect and it'll end right there and it won't hang down. It'll be a perfect fit. So I think that's where I'm going with this. And maybe if you have time, you can check your pieces better and See if they need to be ironed, which I usually do, but I didn't this time. And I put a lot of glue there, so I'm not going to touch it. And I'm just centering, putting the glue in the center flower, and then I'll do a better job when I go back around and check it. And why I also do that is just to make sure I'm happy with where I'm placing it. So, since it's a little wrinkled, it's it's uh, a little deceiving for me to see it well and to place it well. But it's coming out okay, and I'll just glue down the parts that are a little wrinkled, and it'll be fine. You see how pretty the black and white is looking? And I'll go back, pinch this all down with some glue. I don't want to make you wait while I do that. I can do that afterwards. I'm almost done now with the trim. Okay. The lace is looking good. It does, doesn't it? And then the flap will be a little further down like that. And it goes all the way around and we chose this at the front all right what's next I want to put some flowers and some kind of decoration to the front and to the sides so I've chosen these little millennia flowers for the three flaps and then for here I want to put the larger flower with some of these sprays. So let's do that. Let me get my little flowers. These three are going to be for the other three flaps. All right, let's, let's get them together. A little bit of glue. Um, right right there. I'm actually putting it a little bit over from the trim but overlapping. Look at how cute. Nothing grand, just something a little a little more of of a delicate kind of design there. See something simple, but it looks elegant and pretty, doesn't it? And one more on this side to finish it off. And it's just overlapping a little bit onto the lace. I know I want to put the flower 
little bit of glue there. Not so bit, right? I don't want it to come off when traveling. All right. Then I'm going to put some of these sprays in too. One there. And they're a little tough to cut, so I do cut them with. A wire cutter and I like to spread these because they come like very flat so I like to spread them a little bit so it looks full and pretty and the flat side there's always a flat side that's the one I put down and one more to fill in the back. And that one will go tucked in right there. See, doesn't that look pretty? And I think it looks really nice right there, like that. The little flowers here, the little spray here, small flowers. That was pretty much what I did with the soup bowl cozy from Campbell's from this to that so if you see one they come in red and white or black and white give it a try and see what you come up with uh, happy new year if I don't get to do another video before then and thank you so much for watching everyone have a great day bye